Hey, what is up, guys? True Power Shad here, bringing you another X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Now today, I will be using yet again a different team, but this team I've used uh, quite a lot in my spare time. I, I had, I think, three or four battles saved with it, but this one was probably the best one out of them all. This team is very powerful. I will say that uh, I've gotten very used to using this team, and the Pokémon all together work out really well. I have Excadrill to support the Talonflame to spin away Stealth Rocks. I've got Tyranitar to set up my own Stealth Rocks. Chestnut is a ve very good physical wall, as well as uh, if I want to set up my Spikes, my Helio is able to shut down a lot of water types, especially that Azumarill of his. And uh, then I have Alakazam, who is just, you know, very, very powerful as it is. Uh, when it mega, rev mega evolves, which is what I run it for, uh, it is faster than nearly every Choice Scarf, uh, that all the common Choice Scarf is with base 150 speed, and its special attack is 175. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> it's, this team is very awesome. I'm going to be using this team a lot just because I'm very good with it now. But um, I also still want to try and use my shiny Mega Charizard Y a lot. But um, yeah, anyway, my opponent's name, his uh, name is John. He's a very awesome guy just because he's got the world's greatest name. Uh, his team's looking very powerful as well. He ha he's um, I know he's going to lead off with his uh, Mammoth Swine, and I can already tell his uh, Mega Evolution is going to be Gengar. I'm not too scared of Gengar, as I said. I do have Chestnut, and Chestnut is a very good Pokemon to uh, fight fight off against with the. Uh, Use against Gengar, and uh, mainly when I see on his team, his main threat I feel is his Dragonite, but at the same time, I do have my Chestnut to shut him down. Volcarona, if it sets up, I can easily take him out with the Talon Flame, so I'm not too worried about that. But his Mamoswine already, it just, it's Mamoswine, and I think that's enough said. You guys know how much I hate Mamoswine, but um, I'm actually trying to raise my own Mamoswine at the moment just because I want to use it, and because you can call it Ibuki and it'll be all good. Anyway, let's just get straight into the battle. Okay, so he's gonna lead off with his uh his Mamoswine, and I decided I'm gonna lead off with my Heliolisk just because I'm pretty sure he will lead off with my Mamoswine. And honestly, Heliolisk is my lead anyway, so it didn't really matter, I guess. But anyway, because I despise Mamoswine so much, I'm gonna go straight for the Surf, and the Surf does uh, doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, I expected to bring it down to its Sash, but I was uh. I was surprisingly wrong as this uh, Mamoswine gets up to Stealth Rock, so that kind of stuff, but this is actually a really risky play because if he did decide to go for the Earthquake instead of setting up the Stealth Rocks in turn 1, I would have lost my Helio, and that would have been very bad because I don't really have... I need my my only two guys that can actually really deal with this Azumarill after my Helio disc, as well as his, uh, as well as my Chestnut, and uh, it was very nice I managed to take this thing down on turn 2, that was very nice, but now he's in, uh, he's sending his Excadrill, I don't really like this matchup, it is true I can go for another Surf, but at the same time I don't really want to risk dying, so I'm going to go into my Chestnut here, just because Chestnut is an extremely bulky physical wall, I really enjoy using this thing so much, because look how little this Earthquake will do, that was nothing, that was just amazing, I really just, oh, Chestnut's a beast, Bowser is just here to wreck house. Anyway, now he's gonna now he's gonna go into his Gengar. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. No, his Volcarona. Sorry, just because Volcarona is a very good matchup against Chestnut, just because you know it resists both its main forms of stab and it can hit very hard with the Fiery Dance, Bug Buzz, Flamethrower, all that all that super effective moves and stuff. But I'm just gonna go straight for Leo with Spikes just to put some pressure on my opponent from switching. But anyway, I'm gonna go into my Tyranitar here. Now this is a bit of an iffy matchup. I do have max special defense investment in this Tyranitar, but at the same time Volcarona. I can do a ton of damage to me because Bug Buzz is, is still super effective against Tyranitar, but luckily for me, I will be able to get my Sandstorm up. And because uh, Sandstorm boosts uh, Rock type Pokemon special defense while they're in the Sandstorm, that means my Tyranitar special defense is even higher than usual, so I will be easily, easily be able to take a plus one Bug Buzz. But you know, at the same time, if this Volcarona was able to set up another Bug Buzz or if it got a crit or something, it would be not looking too good for my uh, Tyranitar, so yeah, here we go, it's gonna go for the Bug Buzz, and I take that with, uh, I think, just over 50, under 50%, sorry, and luckily for me, I carry the stone, so I'll be able to take out this Volcarona, and if this stone had missed, he probably would have been able to sweep my whole entire team from here, which would have sucked, but still, that's how the, how the game works, but I did take out this major threat, which is very nice, my Tyranitar is a, a reasonable, reasonable amount of health, and he's gonna go back into his Excadrill here, I think I'm gonna switch out here, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I do switch out. I'm gonna go. I I'm a bit I'm a bit iffy. I can't remember this battle exactly, but I do know that was a while ago. But anyway, I'm gonna go into my Excadrill just because I am uh, do carry that air balloon. And uh, if he does go for the earthquake, I'll be able to get in here, take out, take zero damage, and that's exactly what happens because air balloon makes it so Pokemon are not cannot get hit by ground type attacks until the balloon pops. But anyway, he's gonna make a good play here. Going to his uh, going to his Gengar. I could have gone for the earthquake here, but at the same time, I did really want to get rid of the. Uh, these stealth rocks just so I can bring my talent flame. So uh, he makes a nice prediction there. But anyway, in, in is his Gengar, and you guys all know what's about to happen. Bowser is just gonna say no. He's the Ghostbuster, and you know Chestnut is just gonna completely just 
wreck this Gengar. As you'll see, it's gonna Mega Evolve here. And it's gonna go, I'm pretty sure he goes for the Shadow Ball here. Uh, but still, it doesn't doesn't even matter because you just look at this, it's just bulletproof immunity. It's amazing. And I just got a random message on Skype that's quite annoying. Oh, good. But anyway, so now there's really not much he can do to my uh, Chestnut unless he's carrying the Dazzling Gleam, which I do find out later if he is. But he goes for the Sludge Bomb here, which uh, I'm guessing he doesn't know what bulletproof is, like, because he keeps on attacking me. So I'm able to get up another, uh, I'm able to get all three layers of my spikes up, which is very nice. All of his Pokemon are switching now. We've taken a lot of damage. And at this point, um, he's actually panicking, you can tell, because he doesn't go for the Dazzling Gleam, which it, he does reveal he has later on in the game. He's going to switch straight out, though. So, um,. You know, I'm just going to continuously get my laser spikes up, so... Like, you know, if he did go for the Dazzling Gleam, I know I wouldn't have been able to take it, so... Uh... Yeah, that's all I've got to say there, but, um... You know, it didn't didn't really matter in the long run, but anyway, now he's going to go for the Dragon Dance with the Dragonite. He's going to try and start dancing with another Pokemon, this is going to be quite irritating for me, but still, I'm just going to go straight for the Toxic. My best bet here, since I don't really have too much for this uh, Dragonite, I will be, uh, my best bet is just to stall it out, because uh, after a few Dragon Dances, we'll be able to outspeed my whole entire team, uh, except for my, uh, what do you want to call it, it's my, what's the name of it, my Talon Flame, which has that Brave Bird priority. I probably should have sped this bit up as it's a bit stally, but still, it's the best I can do, I guess. I should have really rewatched this video before commentarying over it. Oh, good. So, um, yeah, <laughs> just stalling out his Dragonite. I'm actually gonna speed this up really quickly. Much better now we have that nice spit up battle, but anyway, I, he can't really do much at this point. I can just continuously use Pain Split, poison him, just drain his uh, health bit by bit with my uh, Bowser. But outside of that, um, I don't really want it to take too, mu too much damage because I still need it for his Azumarill. So I'm going to sack my Tyranitar at this point as he's still continuously going for the Dragon Dance. As you know, he can't really, as he saw before, the Dragon Claw isn't really doing much to my uh, Chestnut. So I will lose my uh, Tyranitar here, but that's all good because now I'll be able to bring in my Talon Flame. And because it's at literally 1 HP, I'll be able to take it out with the Brave Bird. Which is very, very nice. And uh, now I'm pretty sure he's going to go into his Azumarill here. Just because Azumarill is the best uh, matchup for his... Uh, against my Talon Flame. And because of those Stealth Rocks, I'm going to be taking a lot, like, a lot of damage by switching. But it's pretty damn worth it. Just because, you know, I got rid of that, uh, that Pokemon, that Dragon Knight. But anyway, I'm going to go back into my... Into my heal, no, yeah, into my heal. It's just because the, uh, it's pretty obvious that he's gonna go for a water type move, but because I do carry the dry skin, I'll be able to get a safe switch in as well as recover some HP, which is very nice. And this is also extremely good for me, just because the fact now that uh, he cannot, uh, if he is a uh, choice band variant, he will not be able to stay in. So he's actually gonna get a switch out of here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I go for the focus blast here. No, 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 no. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. I actually predict the switch here and go for the. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I predict the switch and go for the focus blast here on his Excadrill. It's a very nice play for me. I get rid of his Excadrill, which is a bit of a pest, but now it's, it's just gone. It's finished. But uh, he makes a good play here now. Because he's uh, because he has uh, lost his Excadrill, I'm locked into our uh, Focus Blast. So all he has to do is bring his Gengar here. And because, like I said, I'm locked into my Focus Blast. I will not I'll be able to switch moves up. But I, at least I do get down. Get a, uh, blah, blah, I can't speak English, as per usual. At least I am able to take down his Excadrill. Very worth it. He cannot rapid spin any of my hazards away now. That is very good. And uh, I'm going to lose my Helios, which kind of sucks. But hey, we've got, we've got my own Excadrill here. Now, the reason why I bring my Excadrill... Drill in here on his Gengar instead of my Chestnut is because uh, he went for the Dazzling Gleam there, I think. I'm not, you know, I wasn't even paying attention to it. Okay, Jesus. He went, yeah, he went for the Dazzling Gleam there. But um, now he's going to go for the Shadow Ball. And because I have a max HP investment, I know I'll be able to uh, be able to live a uh, Shadow Ball and I'll be able to easily take him out with an Earthquake, which will just drop him like a pin cushion. I don't know. But um, yeah, he's dead now, which is fantastic. And now he's down. His last Pokemon is Azumarill. And this is a uh, practically checkmate here. Because if he goes to the player off, which is what he needs to go for to take down my Chestnut, he won't be able to take out my Alakazam because I'll be able to outspeed and go for an Energy Ball. But if he does go for the up budget, he will be unable to take down my Chestnut. Meaning that this is game, set, and match. Alakazam didn't even need. Who needs Mega Pokemon these days? We've got, we've got Chestnut here. It's Mega Pokemon itself. Look at those spikes. It's just beautiful. But yes, yeah, so there's no way Knuckle Jet. From an Azumarill, Choice Band, most likely. Can, Chestnut is eating it up, and I'll be able to take his Azumarill out with this Seed Bomb, and that will be the game. Now, um, yeah, really, guys, hope you enjoyed this battle. Sorry, my commentary wasn't the best, as per usual. But still, I, I came home with a win, and that's all that mattered. So, um, yeah, I really like using this team. I do know my next battle I'm going to upload is back with my... Uh, Mega, my shiny Mega Charizard team, just because there's the ones I've got saved. Then I've got to, after that next battle, I've got to try and get more battles done. So, uh, 
yeah thank you guys so much for watching this is true power shad signing out peace